Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos and I will wait until y'all give your girl a thumbs up. You did it? <laughs> Thank you so much. You can do it from your TV too. Just hit the up button, over button. There's a thumbs up there. Alright guys, so in my last vlog, a lot of you said that you wanted more deets on Art Basel. Art Basel happens every year here in Miami Beach and it's so much fun. I've gone once before and I've vlogged it. There are two previous vlogs if you want to see all about it. Uh, lots of artists are kind of like commissioned and all of the art is gathered in one space for everyone to see. It is here in the Miami Convention Center which is huge. Um, and they're showing from December the 1st to the 3rd. You can buy tickets and you can go and check out the art. It is literally an all day event um, because there's just so much art to see and if you're into art you will absolutely love it. They also have NFTs which is really cool as well like digital art. Um, and then they also have a separate section for design which is where you can find places like, I believe Fendi was there last year and they had their furniture showings. But this is where you can see furniture and design like pieces that are made um, and get to see them and touch them and fill them up close, which is really cool. Um, a lot of people who are really into design and interior design and decoration love that. I would recommend going to both. Both are so much fun. You can find out more details on, on the Art Basel website. They also have a little place for events where you can find out events that are happening at the Miami Convention Center. Um, I know on November 30th, Carrie Mae Weems is gonna be there doing a chat and I'm definitely hitting that up. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. Anytime it's Art Basel, even though I've only went, been to one, I like to wear a lot of fun, colorful, very kind of like wearable art pieces. I also like to incorporate black designers, of course. Um, I am attending a few events, so I'm working with a few brands, going to a few parties, so it's going to be incredible. But I want to show you a few pieces that I've kind of collected over like this year and maybe even last year too with Art Basel in mind. Um, and this portion of the video is in partnership with Farfetch. You guys know I love Farfetch. It's one of my favorite places to shop for incredible, one of a kind designer pieces. Um, anytime you cannot find something anywhere else, they always have it at Farfetch because Farfetch is basically a conglomerate of boutiques all over the world. So you have your pick of the litter. And I picked out a few pieces from Farfetch and also just other pieces from different places that I'm going to show you guys today. And these are some of the pieces you will see me wearing during Art Basel. So shout out to Farfetch for partnering with me on this portion of the video. I do have a code as well. So that code is MS SAVE Monroe Steel MS SAVE all capital letters to get you $40 off and that's for new and existing customers when you spend $500 or, or more and that's also in conjunction with anything on their website anything that's on sale um, anything that's full price um, as well as in uh, collaboration with any of the Black Friday promotions that they have going on so you can still use this code for $40 off when you spend $500 or more. So I think that's great, especially for the holidays. If you're like gang up with your friends and you guys wanna do a bulk or order, that would be incredible. So I have a few pieces in from Margiela, Jean-Paul Gaultier, um, Marnie, um, a few pieces in from Hanifa. Y'all know I love Hanifa. Um, that I think I will probably wear during Basel. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right into this haul, starting with a few pieces from Farfetch, which is pretty much my outfit of the day. Let's get into it. All right, so you guys know I have been loving long denim maxi skirts. And when I saw this skirt that I'm wearing, which is a Mason Margiela denim skirt on Farfetch, I have never put something in my cart so quick. I think it's so cool. On the front and on the back, it has like a dark wash printed jean. So it almost looks like jeans, even though it's a denim skirt. And I love how it's kind of undone 
in the split so it's kind of frayed and gives it a worn appearance it is a true maxi skirt it comes all the way down to pretty much my ankles and i'm five foot six inches tall i got this in a size six or a 42 which is normally what i am in any margella jeans including the margella slash jeans that i have um and it's just really fun the denim is very very light um and breathable so it's great for miami beach and i just think the pattern of the jeans being on the front and on the back just makes this skirt very fun very unique a little bit extra and something that would be very very fun to wear during art basel now to style it i just styled it with this little tee another zara purchase i have this in so many colors and also my favorite platform uh sandals at the moment which are these from cult gaia i also got these from farfetch i have been looking everywhere for them and i couldn't find them when I was in Paris and then I went to Farfetch, saw them and ordered them immediately. Um, and they were waiting for me when I got home from Paris Fashion Week. Shout out to you if you watched the Paris Fashion Week vlogs, those were fun. So yeah, these, I mean, these are art. And so why not incorporate these into a look for Art Basel? And they look great with this Margiela skirt. Um, these Cult Gaia sandals are true to size. They are super comfortable. I actually wore them to a concert <laughs> and they held up very, very nicely. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure to link these from Farfetch down below as well as this stunning Margiela skirt. I mean, it's just so cool. It's so effortless and I absolutely love it. So that is my outfit of the day. Um, let's get into, let's see, I think I got two or one more piece from Farfetch from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Guys, so I did it. I went ahead and bought that dollar dress. I mean, what is it? The $100 bill dress from Jean-Paul Gaultier. You've probably seen this dress a million times on all of the It Girls and I saw it and I couldn't resist. I'm a huge fan of Jean-Paul Gaultier. In fact, I've gone to, I believe his last ready to wear a show in Paris years ago. It was at a amphitheater, it was so cool. I can't even believe I was invited, but it was incredible. Um, but yeah, I love a good like mesh, kind of bodycon-ish dress. And so when I saw this, I had to have it. Um, and they of course have it at Farfetch. This looks like a dress on top of a dress, but it's all one piece which is really cool. I love the colors in this. It has a little bit of red, orange, green. Um, the print is on the front and in the back. And the panels here on the side are sheer, but you can't really see through it. Um, and I love the length of this. This is a true midi dress. It does have quite a bit of stretch. Normally I get a medium in, in things, but I believe I got this in a small and it fits perfectly. In fact, I probably could have gotten it one size smaller if I want it to be if I wanted it to be really form fitting but yeah this is just a great conversation piece everyone knows this when they see it that it's JPG and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to own this dress in fact I have another dress on the way from the most recent co collection I'm so excited about that and I'm pretty sure I'll probably wear that dress during Basel as well if you want to know what dress I'm talking about head to the description box, I'll link it. <laughs> so you can click and see which dress I'm talking about since I don't have it yet to show in this video. But I'll link a few more of my favorites from John Paul Gaultier that you can find at Farfetch. I believe this came from Italy, but it came in like three days. I'm telling you, Farfetch has incredible shipping. You can receive anything from anywhere in the world and it will literally take like two or three days, sometimes a day to get to you. Um, and the way that I styled this, of course, I styled it with my um, Paprika Lido Mules from Bottega. I feel like anything that is very comfortable for me is what I want to wear during Basel because you're up a lot, you're doing a lot of walking. And my Bottega sandals, to me, are super, super comfortable. The leather is very plush. Um, and I love the orange, how it picks up the red and orange tones in this dress. And I also paired this with my green Bottega Jody bag, which is one of my favorite bags. Anytime I can pull that out, I do because it's definitely 
very fun, very festive, a conversation starter, not something you will see everywhere. And it really brings out the green in this dress. So yeah, that is another piece in from Farfetch. So those are a few new in pieces from Farfetch. Again, you can use my code MS save all capital letters for $40 off when you spend $500 or more. And that is for new and existing customers, as well as full price items and sale items. And I think that's incredible. I will be sure to link some of my favorite things right now that I would buy if I were you and use that code down below in the description box along with this Margiela skirt, those Colt Gaia sandals, and the Jean-Paul Gaultier dress all from Farfetch. So special thanks to my friends at Farfetch for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get into a few more pieces I'm definitely going to wear during Art Basel. All right guys, next up I have two pieces from Hanifa, which is a black owned business. You guys know I love Hanifa. Um, now I recently went to her fashion show it was a digital show, it was super fun, I vlogged it. And uh, when I saw this on the screen, I immediately screenshot it and I said, as soon as this drops, I'm getting it. I've actually had this for about, I would say a month and a half. I've had it for a good long while with the intent to wear it during Basel. It is stunning. It is a two piece set with a skirt and this very fun crinkle material that's actually kind of thick and a matching blue bralette top that is just uh it's everything you guys when i put this on i couldn't believe how the body was biting okay absolutely stunning now anything i get from hanifa i always get a small i feel like her sizing tends to err on the larger side and I'm really glad I got this in a small because it fits wonderfully. I wish you could feel the fabric. It's so soft. It's definitely some kind of knit. And I just love the color blocking. Like green and blue just go together so well. Uh, I wish I, I, I could have even, even gotten the bottom in like an extra small. Um, because... I mean, it's tight, but it could be tighter. I'm loving the slit in the back of the skirt. Um, and it's just a beautiful set and I cannot wait to wear this during Art Basel. I'm sure there's going to be like a party or something I can wear this to. Um, I ended up just pairing this with my clear Bottega Veneta Mules. Um, those are a new and purchase. I love those because clearly they go with everything and that was clearly they go with everything see what i did there see what i did, I did there um they go with everything and then because they have a white base i went ahead and paired it with my white dior bag which is a fairly newer purchase that i believe i picked up from rebag um yeah and i think they're currently having a sale so many places are having sales right now uh i'll link a few of my favorite sales happening right now down in the description box in case you're looking i'm probably going to do a blog post as well but yeah this two-piece set is everything hanifa just they get it right every time now it is still hot in miami here so i can't wear this but you know if you want it to be a little more demure you can always throw on an oversized blazer on top um, for a little more coverage, but this is quite thick and will definitely keep you warm at least on the bottom I mean, I'm loving these little straps here to give it a little added design element there So yeah, super cute if this is still available and I believe that it is on Hanifa's website I'll make sure to link this down below for you all again You probably can size down one size because it is because it is extremely stretchy um, so yeah all right guys, so next up we have a super colorful piece again from Hanifa. This one was from the collection before the last one. And I got this last year around November. It is gorgeous. It is a stunning kind of like a turtleneck maxi dress. It's super long and very, very stretchy. But it basically just looks like art <laughs> because it has so many beautiful colors in it. It has like an orangey red, yellow, purple, white, 
and green, all of which are pretty much my favorite color at the moment. And when I saw this, I just had to have it. Um, and I've actually been holding on to it for a while. I needed to get it him because it was very, very long. I'm five foot six. I had about three inches removed from the bottom and now it fits like an absolute dream and I cannot wait to wear this during Art Basel. I will probably end up wearing this to the actual show to go and view the art because it's art. It's so good, right? Ah, it's so good. Um, I'm not sure that they still have this because this is from two or three seasons ago. Um, but it just works out perfectly because the material is so thin it's very airy um, and it's not too hot so I can definitely still wear this here in Miami um, and for the shoes I ended up pairing this with my Loewe balloon sandals because again Loewe is basically wearable art those little balloons are art and anytime I wear those shoes I get so many compliments people love those shoes and I love them too because they are very very comfortable and I can literally walk around all day in them they have a nice padded bottom um, and I just thought that they would be the cherry on top of this outfit because they just work together so well the dress kind of lays behind the balloon so that I can step easily uh, which just works out great so this is very form-fitting and stunning. Again, in this, I went with a small, even though I'm normally a medium, um, because uh, Hanifa pieces tend to run a little bit big. But like every Hanifa piece I have is art. It's wearable art. She goes for it when it comes to color and design. Um, and that's really what I'm into. And that's definitely what I want to convey um, for all of my outfits for Basel. Okay, so I think I have two more dresses to show you all. Um, one is from Marnie and one is from another brand. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So here we have this striped asymmetrical midi dress. It's a razorback, like kind of like a tank style dress from Marnie. Um, I've really been kind of getting into Marnie. I've been loving all the things that they've been doing. They've created so many different pieces using this fabric and these colors and materials but i love this dress it comes with a little bralette on the inside here that has stretchy material so this is what covers your bust and then this just drapes so nicely on your body i love the asymmetrical hem at the bottom it's just really fun um and i'm loving these this play on the different blues now when I saw this dress, the way they styled the model is with a pair of shoes I already had. And so once I saw the full look, I was like, I need the dress. <laughs> I need this dress. It's stunning. Um, so I paired this dress. Oh, again, and I went with my normal size in this, which is a medium, I believe. And it fits really well, just skims my body in just the right places. And I love how it's kind of baggy almost at the top and then form fitting towards the bottom. Um, but I have a pair of stunning Chloe sandals that I bought during, I believe, New York Fashion Week and I took them to, to Paris and I never wore them. And when I saw those shoes styled with this dress, I had to get this dress. I love the juxtaposition of the colors. So this is mainly blue and navy blue and those shoes are like orange, yellow, maroon. They're a beautiful platform. They're super comfortable. So I can definitely walk around all day in those, um, especially if I wanted to wear those to go check out the exhibit at the convention center. I could walk around all day, still have a little height, but be super comfortable. And I love the play of the different colors. Ugh. This is probably one of my favorite outfits. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And a lot of people can't mix colors like that, but I can. <laughs> and I love this look. I just think it's so fun. The colors pick up on each other. The shoes are super comfy. The dress is just, it's sexy in a way that's not overtly sexy, but it's still fun. And I just, I absolutely love this outfit. Um, I'll be sure to link this dress because it comes in different uh styles it comes in a top i believe it comes in a, a separate skirt it comes in a shorter dress um so i'll be sure to link this down below if any of you are interested as well as those 
stunning Chloe sandals. I love these sandals. Um, I'm going to be wearing them when it gets a little bit warmer. Or, well, I mean, it's always warm in Miami. So I'm probably going to be wearing them a lot soon. Um, but I love them because they're very, very comfortable. The shape is very unique. And, I mean, the colors in them, perfect for spring, summer, and in Miami, fall and winter too. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this. Maybe I'll end up wearing this to the convention center because the shoes are very, very comfortable. All right guys, last but not least, I have a stunning party dress from Foray London, which I do believe is a black owned business. Ah! So I remember showing this to you guys when I got it, um, but I never put it on because I needed to have it tailored. I ended up having this portion here sewn up because it was just too much. Like, and there was no way that boob tape was gonna hold that in. But now that I've had it tailored and I've had it sewn up here, I can wear it sans tape, sans bra, and it's perfect. I absolutely love the colors on this. This is a sheer dress, but when it's on, it's not sheer. It has a little drawstring here that goes down the middle, middle that you can tighten to kind of give it more shape or make it shorter. For me, I can't make it any shorter. I'm five foot six, and with heels, I'm five eight, <laughs> and so my legs are long, and so this is quite short on me, but it is tight around the hem, so it doesn't ride up too much. Um, but this is stunning. I also have this same pattern dress in a midi tube dress. So I'll link both of them down below, but I just think this is so fun. It's giving art, very whimsical, kind of watercolor with the blues, the greens, the yellows. Um, and yeah, I could definitely wear this to like a fun Basel party. I'm talking about a real party, like a turn up. It's gonna be some drinks, it's gonna be a DJ, it's night. <laughs> I could definitely wear this for any kind of event that happens like that. So I'll keep this dress on standby for a turn up night. In fact, I was looking at my schedule and I do have a party that I could definitely wear this to. Now to style this, I styled this with my Bottega Veneta um, cord heels. I, they are art. They are art. They are wearable fun. Um, and I know I said that like they are a pain to wear and they are, but I'm going to wear them because they look incredible with this outfit it's giving basel it's giving art it's giving fun it's giving it's giving everything um and i'm never gonna get rid of those heels because to me they're art like they're beautiful i just like to look at them and wear them you know sparingly so yeah that is the last look um i do have quite a few other looks but you know i gotta pop out with some things i gotta keep some things to myself and just pop out okay um, when this video goes live, Basel will still be just kind of going on. Um, I think this video will go up December the 4th. So yeah, tune into my Instagram at Monroe Steel, M-O-N-R-O-E-S-T-E-E-L-E. -E -E. I'll put it here on the screen. Um, tune into my stories so you can see what's happening in real time because I don't think the vlog will go up until maybe Wednesday. Um, after Basel is over. So yeah, it should be really, really fun. Um, I believe, if you're seeing this video already, I'm working with some incredible brands. So if you have been watching my Instagram, you've seen who I'm working with and I'm so excited. Ah! All right guys, so those are just a few things I'll be wearing during Basel. I'll actually link the other things that I'm going to wear as well. I'm not going to show them to you yet because they'll be in the following Basel vlog, but I will link them. And again, shout out to Farfetch for sponsoring a portion of this video. I've linked a few of my favorites from them down below, including everything else I've shown you in today's video. All right, guys. So actually, this is a vlog within a vlog. I'm filming another vlog right now, um, and this is just kind of pre-recorded to go into a later vlog. But... The rest of this vlog is definitely like getting myself together for Basel, getting my nails done. Um, I think I have a facial schedule, which will be fun. I have an event um, with Purple PR that I'm taking you guys with me. And then I have a quick trip to run back to New York and do a partnership with Anthropology for uh, the Rockefeller Center 
tree lighting ceremony, which I've actually never been to. I've only watched it on TV, even though I live in Harlem for, I don't know, 15 years. I had never gone to see the tree lighting ceremony. And so I'm very excited to work with them and to see this in person. And so all of that will be in today's vlog. Ah! All right, guys, so I will check back in when we are probably going to go get a facial. Well, I'll just say it's tomorrow, but it's going to be several days from the day I'm filming. All right, guys, I'll see you very soon. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of the vlog. And actually, today is kind of like the unofficial first day of Art Basel. Um, so I got myself together. I'm wearing this two-piece set from Maximo Duty that I picked up in Paris. It is this kind of like sheer top even though it's a turtleneck it's kind of hot today it's sheer so i'm good to go love the thumb holes has a matching little skirt i'll see if i can find it online and link it down below for you all for the shoes of course i went with my loewe balloon sandals um i just did a very quick face because i'm going to a breakfast this morning with porsche should be really fun i think we're having a preview um and my girl ria is going to be there as well and probably a few other um bloggers and creators gonna spray on a little Tay noir mixed with uh barredo ball d'afrique of course i will link the fragrances below and i think i'm gonna carry my dior um my vintage dior bag that i also picked up in paris the yellow matches the black matches the shoes and of course it's very arty so let me show you guys the full look. Just call my car and it'll be here momentarily. And we are just gonna go ahead and kick off Basel for today. Tomorrow I'm actually headed to New York for an event. Um, I'm gonna split up these Basel vlogs for you guys so they're not too overwhelming. But it should be fun, all the girls are in town. I just got a message from um, Karen Britchick, so we're gonna link up. I talked to Janae yesterday, so yeah, it should be fun. All right, my Uber is here. I'm gonna show you guys the full look, and we're gonna head out. All right, guys, so here is the full look. If you watch my What I Bought in Paris video, you have seen this two-piece set. It's a skirt with a little ruching on the side, splits. I think I'm wearing a medium from Maximo Duty, and this little sheer top, and my Dior bag. And of course the shoes, always a good conversation starter. Um, my Loewe balloon sandals. All right guys, let's get it going. We out here.
events excuse me i'm a little tipsy like i started drinking champagne and prosecco at like 10 this morning to be honest they don't call it art boozer for nothing okay <laughs> so i started the day with an event with portia it was at pam uh museum such a stunning location they had a really cool portia and like a little man that they had created that was like playing with it. It was really, really cool. We took a ton of pictures. I saw my girl Lisa D there and we just had a really good time um, just catching up and learning a little bit more about the brand. And then we headed over to The Standard, um, one of my favorite hotels here in Miami Beach. They have like a cool little pool area outside where La Prairie and the Cobalt Club set up like a cute activation. La Prairie is a Swiss brand. It's a skincare brand. They have incredible products. I went to their event during Art Basel last year as well. Um, and I got a, a hand massage. Um, I got a, a card reading, which is, was very interesting. Um, and then I also got a little Art Basel Manny, which I'm absolutely loving. Like I don't often wear blue, but a lot of my looks for Basel they have blue in them so this works out perfectly that i was able to get my nails done um and they enlisted vanity projects which is an incredible nail salon here like if you like nail art that's where you want to go my girl ria she goes all of the time um, um the nail tech who did my nails her name is lacy um and it's luxury by lace um, on Instagram definitely check her out. She does incredible work. I think I showed you guys Rhea's nails They're like pop art nails. She did those um, and Vanity Projects is located in the Miami Design District um, Yeah, so definitely check them out if you're really into like incredible nail art That's where you want to go if you want something a little like plain and simple like I normally get you can definitely go to henna international nail and spa on Collins so yeah, that was really fun. Got a Manny, saw a bunch of friends, took a bunch of content, and now I'm back at home. I'm probably gonna change out of this outfit because tonight I am going to an event, maybe, at the Ritz Carlton, and it's more of a cocktail attire. Um, so I'm gonna change and just relax for the next few hours, try to get some stories up, try to get some work done, and then we'll do that. And I also need to pack because tomorrow I'm heading to New York. <laughs> tomorrow we're gonna end out the vlog in New York um, and then we'll start another full Basel vlog. So yeah, so far day one, super fun, already a little tipsy. That's how it is. I got a couple of gift bags as well. I got a gift bag from um, Portia event that we went to. And then I also got a little gift bag from La Prairie. I think it's actually just a tote. <laughs> yeah, this is just a tote. You can never have enough totes. They also had towels, but I have too many towels, so I didn't want another one. So let me show you what came in the Porsche gift bag. They just gave us a little car. How cute, can you see it? Super cute. I feel like I'm gonna end up giving this to my um, nephew, uh, the Chris. LeBroy uh, Porsche art. It's like a tiny little car and just like some paperwork on the event, Dream Big, and the artist who created that installation. It's really, really cool. So yeah, uh, I will check back in with you guys once I'm getting ready to head out to the event tonight. Um, but so far, off to a super fun start yeah a lot of friends in town too so hoping to see some of them as well all right guys i'll check back in once we're heading out tonight perfect So I'm back in New York City. 
here in my Harlem apartment. I'm here because I'm doing a collaboration with Anthropology uh, for the tree lighting today at Rockefeller Center. It should be really fun. I've actually never gone to see the tree lighting like the first day. And so I really wanted to make this trip even though it's right in the middle of Basel. I mean, I can't turn down the opportunity. Um, and it's also like a paid campaign, so yeah. And also, not much was going on today as far as my Basel schedule. I think I only had like two events. But yeah, this is my travel look. <laughs> Wearing my YSL uh, like varsity jacket. Um, I think this tee is from the Frankie shop. These are, who are these? Sweaty Betty uh, stirrups. And then I just put on my airport socks and my Celine sneakers and my New York camo hat. You can get this from Amazon for like 10 bucks. I'll link it down below. So yeah, that was my travel look. And I love it. I usually take the first flight out of Miami super quick. I'm in New York by like 9.30. So I have the whole day um, because the event isn't until tonight. They sent me an outfit, anthropology. It's super cute. Can't wait to show you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to relax. I do have an event to go to at 2 p.m. Um, I am heading to the Sophia Webster uh, studio, checking out the latest collection. And also, I think they're gifting me a pair of shoes, so I'll take you guys for that. But for now, just going to eat some breakfast, um, shower, relax, catch up on some work, um, water my plants to make sure they're all alive. <laughs> and yeah. That's what we're gonna do. together it's about one o'clock it is raining in New York City which gives me the perfect opportunity to wear this dress from Diesel that has a hooded um, that has a hoodie on it uh, you guys remember I got this dress for fashion week I have it in orange and I also have it in gray and I wore it the gray one during Paris fashion week um, and I wore the orange one in a video but this is Diesel very warm um, I'm probably not gonna put on a coat since I'm gonna take a car down but I'll show you the look I'm about to head to the um, Sophia Webster showroom and check out their fall collection um, and I'm definitely gonna take you guys with me this lip is actually Dior and I found it here I'm taking this back with me to Miami because you guys know I love a brown but this brown has kind of a red undertone it's really pretty um, I think it's color 910 in Dior. I'll link it down below. Let me go ahead and show you guys the whole outfit. Call my Uber and we will go check out the Sophia Webster collection. And then afterwards, we're going to come back here, get ready in this incredible Ronnie Kobo dress that's from um, Anthropology. And then we're going to head to a fun holiday dinner with Anthropology and the tree lighting ceremony at Rockefeller Center. All right. Let me go ahead and show you guys the full look in the mirror. Hopefully the light is okay in here. Um, anything that's available, I'll link down below. All right, guys. So here is the diesel hooded dress. I love the zipper on it. It's like asymmetrical and you can wear it open, but like, why would I? It's cold outside. And then at the bottom is a beautiful brown chiffon. Uh, it's so stunning. I'm wearing a small in this. And then I went with my Tamara Melon Gray Icon boots. They are super high. 
so my legs are warm and my old Celine pillow bag you guys remember the video I did about my bag so nice I bought it twice I ended up buying this bag twice because I wasn't wearing it and so I sent it back and then I bought these boots actually they were gifted by Tamara Mellon and then I had to get this back but this is one of my favorite old Celine purchases like the Phoebe era but she is a stunner and I don't get to wear her often um, so yeah I thought this would be a great look to check out some shoes all right guys let's go ahead and head out guys just leaving Sophia Webster um, they actually flew in from London to set up this showroom and everything that you guys saw is going to be out in September of 2023 um, but yeah it was really cool I really enjoyed meeting the team and something interesting to note is that they only make about 200 pairs of each of their shoes so they're really kind of like one of a kind and custom I thought that they actually made huge batches but they don't and the butterfly is a symbol that Sophia Webster's, I believe her grandmother would write her notes and she would put little butterflies in the notes. And that's why the butterfly is like a symbol for the shoes. And I believe her grandmother was a Holocaust survivor as well. So yeah, I learned a lot about the brand, got to see what they have in store for 2023 next year. And they also gave me a pair of shoes, the Kiera or the Chiera. And I'll show them better to you when I get home. So now I'm trying to find something to eat. I'm gonna walk to Planta and see if I can get a reservation. I've been wanting to check them out for a while. The location, the new one here in New York is close to the Flatiron District. And I'm only seven blocks away, so. We're gonna go eat, then we'll go back home and get ready for the tree lighting event. Sophia Webster fall 2023 collection all of those shoes you saw most of them will be out September 2023 and again they gave me some shoes I wanted to show you guys them a little bit better um, these are the the um, Chiera or Chiera sandal with tangerine fizz and zebra 
I went with my normal size, which is a 41 euro, and they fit great. Sophia Webster is based in London, um, but they're trying to make more of a stateside presence. So yeah, they set that uh, studio up to come check it out. You guys, look. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm obsessed. These are so fun. I love yellow, one of my favorite colors. And then the black and white kind of zebra um, butterfly. Ah, and then the white tip on the heel. So beautiful. Definitely gonna wear these at some point during Basel. Um, gonna pack these in my suitcase to take back to Miami tomorrow. Um, they also sent me a little, I think this is a charm. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Let's open it up. So this is a little shoe charm. Oh, like a keychain almost. Very cute. A little shoe. Oh, that is adorable. Can you see it? Can you see like all of the colors on it? Uh, so good. So yeah, that was great meeting their team. Everyone was super sweet and nice. Um, I'm gonna relax. Oh, I ended up going to Planta Queen, um, and it was really good. Uh, I hadn't eaten all day. Like my stomach had just been growling all day, so I needed to eat. Um, and so I stopped by there. I'll put details down below in case any of you are interested. They also have one in Miami. Um, so now I'm just gonna rest. I have to leave here in exactly one hour to head to Anthropology, which is right down by Rockefeller Center where they're going to do the tree tonight. Um, they sent me a beautiful Ronnie Kobo dress. I need to winterize it a bit because I don't know if we're gonna be outside, but like it's rainy and windy. And like, if I'm gonna be outside, I can't be in heels. So I'm gonna show you guys the dress they sent and get all of that together and then we'll head out. All right guys, so I'm all dressed and ready for the tree lighting event with Anthropology Tonight I'm wearing this Ronnie Kobo dress. It is so sparkly. It has like bits of brown and gold and like burgundy. Um, it's a little cold so I layered it on top of a black sheer turtleneck and went with a tall boot from uh, Stuart Weitzman. I'll be sure to link this down below. This dress comes in so many different colors. I've seen it on a ton of people. The earrings are super old. Really, I can't even remember who they are from. I think maybe J.W. Anderson or someone like that. The lip is Dior Red. I just freshened up my makeup a bit. Um, I'm going to carry my Gucci uh, bag so I can fit you all in there. And yeah, it should be really fun. I know my girl Tiffany is going to be there. Um, my girl Makita is going to be there as well. So yeah, it should be cute. But that's the look. It's still raining out. I think I need to probably throw on a coat. They did send us an Uber code. So I'm going to go ahead and call my Uber. Because security is supposed to be super tight since they are doing the tree lighting. So yeah, let's head out i love how just ugh, this is just giving a lot of give so sparkly and pretty
right guys made it home it was such a fun event this is the first time i've ever seen the rockefeller tree lit up like in person and it was so great because the viewpoint from the store just gave us like unlimited access it was incredible and everyone loved my fit again this dress is ronnie kobo i'll link it down below it does come in a ton of colors i did layer it so without the undershirt you know you can wear some double-sided sticky tape that would be really fun for like a holiday party i also won a trip to philadelphia they gave everyone a little gift um and i opened mine and inside was a love um like the philadelphia love um ornament and the card said like that i won a trip to philly and to go to their store there and have a shopping spree and i'm like oh my god this is incredible so i guess i'll be vlogging from philly soon i don't know when but we're gonna go and we're gonna have a good time um they also gave us quite a few things let me show you guys oh the light is so much better out here um each of us got our own little monogrammed wine glass i don't know if you can see my name on there but that's cool and here is my ornament with the card that says i get to go to philly ah and then we have a little gift bag here with some other things like this trip has just been incredible um so in here we have some color changing globe lights which is super cute i think i'm gonna take these to miami and i might get a tree i'm not sure we'll see y'all um and then we also got some hydrate and glow babies lanolip glosses i've never heard of these but super cute um and ooh, there's something else good in here is this a candle y'all know how i feel about candles this is a cb um firewood capri blue candle oh that sounds like it smells incredible and i'm pretty sure all of these things you can get at anthropology so i'll link them oh this smells like a christmas tree oh it smells so good it's, it's given holiday um <laughs> by the way um i'm not sh i don't think my code will still be good for this dress when uh the vlog goes live but hopefully you're following me on stories because i have a 15 percent off code but i think it expires on the second unfortunately so if you're not following me on instagram you're playing yourself you need to follow me at monroe still m-o-n-r-o-e-s-t-e-e-l-e -E -E -E, so that you don't miss the codes because sometimes they're only for a day or two and uh, by the time these videos go live they're done but i will link this dress along with a few other holiday favorites from anthropology and just a few other favorites that i'm loving from anthropology down below in the description box just head down there look for an anthropology favorites and i'll link a ton including this dress um is there anything else in this gift bag i think there is what else is in here oh so yeah everybody had a little mirror too how cute with my name on it you know these mirrors they're like the ones that everyone has but they have the bigger ones you have like a little tiny one which is super cute so yeah i really enjoyed that seeing friends seeing the tree the meal was delicious so special thanks to anthropology for inviting me to this event um i've knocked something off of my bucket list by finally seeing the rockefeller tree center lit up and it was just so fun um all right guys i'm gonna pack even though i didn't have much to unpack i'm gonna pack i'm gonna shower i'm gonna set an alarm because tomorrow i'm taking the first flight out of new york and we're heading right back to miami to close out basel um there's still three days of art basel left i have a few jobs um it's gonna be 
a whirlwind so if you enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to give me a thumbs up you can do it from your tv by hitting the up button and the over button and the thumbs up button it helps me out it pushes my videos out to more people um, everything you've seen in today's video including all the farfetch items are linked down below don't forget you can use my code at farfetch ms save for forty dollars off or purchases over five hundred dollars it's a great time team up with your friends get a list going get some of your favorite things it also works in collaboration with any um, deals and sales that they have going on right now so again I will link all of the things you saw from my what I'm wearing a Basel um, down below in the description box and everything <laughs> everything else you've seen in today's video all right guys thank you so much for joining me um, for taking the time out of your day to watch I appreciate you all um, it's the holidays we in the holiday season it's December when you're watching this video and let's just close the year out in gratitude coasting okay we coasting we done working for the year we done okay all right guys I'll see you all in the next one make sure to subscribe if you haven't I would love to have you all right guys later